Uh, Pac-Man had that altercation in the uh, airport. He was really sticking up for me. Was Shaq talking about it? I did see. I heard Shaq talk about it. But still. Was, uh, for everybody that want to know, I was taking up for Shaq. Pat, I just want to say thank you for always being my bodyguard. And yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Is it a rap your outlet for like therapy? Oh uh, no! That. You took my dad. No. That was what I was going. It's say. not it's a not? therapy because if it's a therapy, that means you don't believe really believe in it. That I, really? I believe in therapy is something that is like Musa. Like that is just making me deep, breathe deeper, calm me down, enjoy myself. Um, when I think about, it, I think about you getting no, it off your chest. This no. rap shit is like it's it. It's on the table. To the song. He said thirty six in the bowl, thirty six uh -huh. in the bowl, uh -huh. uh, uh, half you, 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 half you're, ounce for yeah, the low. No, you know what I'm saying? This nigga, he is talking street I'm shit. I'm talking about shit yeah. that I've been through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I, I say 36 shows, in the bowl, that's a whole I, I can't the ball. Hell the pack man by myself. Yeah. He tripping right there, man. I done got him where I for him. I done went to my mode now. Yeah. That's fucked up. You're yeah. <laughs> but like, honestly to God, bro, <laughs> like, Shaq told me, he was like, hey, go in there and say whatever the fuck you want to say. All right. Uh, Shaq told me, do his shit. It must be all right. Um, Got good people around me. When you and Shaq gonna drop something together, he really, he just, I gotta ask you about that now. Actually, Shaq, when I get Shaq, to going, Shaq, Shaq when is I on get the album, going, bro. Shaq and Shannon Sharp Shaq is on going, the album. and you like both of them. Well, no, nah, they're both your boys. You <laughs> talk right. the way you talk to both of them. All right, I do. I do but, like but, both of them. But they been beefing lately. Yeah, but Shannon can't do that shit, bro. Like, he know what's going on. Like, And I seen you in the airport, so I know you ain't going. I, I ain't worried about me. <laughs> But you had Shaq, wasn't that for Shaq or something? Yeah. Okay, so that's why I'm saying. I ain't worried about me. I had to knock the nigga out for Shaq. That's what I'm saying. The nigga was talking shit to Shaq. Man, I hit this nigga one pick. I seen it. It's all over the place. How long ago was that? The crazy part about this video, they never got a picture of him. No, it was the back of his head. You see him fall. No, I'm talking about Shaq. Shaq. No, he's not nowhere in it. You never see him nowhere. That's why I thought you were tripping. I'm like, Shaq ain't even there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I said, Shaq ain't even there. Why he say Shaq name? Maybe he called him. His nigga said something. Called did Shaq not, a name. You Did you not see the video of me? I see you. On ESPN. Pac-Man had that altercation in the uh, airport. He was really sticking up for me. Was Shaq talking about it? I did see. I heard Shaq talk about it. But still. Was, uh, for everybody that want to know. I was taking up for Shaq. Pat, I just want to say thank you for always being my bodyguard and whoop that dude ass because he was disrespecting me and nobody knows this story, but I, I appreciate you very much. That's what really happened. Okay. I appreciate you. you. I've been keeping this secret. I ain't want to let everybody to know our business. And you was taking up for him. And I had a Popeye bag in my hand. Hey, I want to say to this right quick, Popeyes, because y'all didn't give me no money for that fight. <laughs> We, we, I ain't eating Popeyes no fucking up. All black people, stop eating Popeyes. <laughs> what year? What year did this fight happen? Twelve. Oh no, she was that like wasn't three years, yeah. four years ago. Yeah, it wasn't no twelve. Ago. You yeah. seen it? Yeah, she seen it. Did you see it? No, I didn't. Me and him were watching it. They both left the house. I, I thought you see it. No. you see it. I didn't oh. see it. Me and my son Never watched seen it. it. Oh yeah, we seen it. We watched it because I said I said man. I see when it first came out though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sports. He he say he, had, he said Pac Man coming. I'm I saying. Had, I, had, I said okay. I had 350 k in my bag. Everybody, that bag. You didn't drop that bag. Okay. Your ass was holding on that bag. I, I was like, we what? had just left yeah. Vegas. <laughs> just left Vegas. I had 300 k in that bag. Ain't no way I'm taking all this bag. They're like, damn, Pat, why you take all the bag? This my money in the bag right here. You started to <laughs> take something off at first, then you I changed your mind. It. I said, no, damn, no, no. Show no. Did. That don't make sense right there. <laughs> it don't make sense for me to take this motherfucker. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Man. Ain't no way. With all of the things that you've been through. You've been through a lot. Um, coming up, all the spiral, all the, the bad stuff, all the fights, all the... How did, how did you change and settle down and not be so rambunctious? Take flight on a nigga right now. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Take flight on a nigga right now. Yeah, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know what the hell she's talking about. Talking about? This shit's still going on over here, baby. <laughs> Take flight. We just don't fuck with nobody. And then, like, you got to realize the media is what, I mean, the media today 
isn't not the media what it was back then. Okay. Like everybody controlled the media back then because they can put out little shit on any network of how they want to control the scenario. This day and time, everybody got a voice, baby. Like you got a voice. You got a voice. You got a voice. Undercover dog. You got I a know voice. about your voice. I got a voice. You got a voice. Bro, you I got a voice. Got a voice. Mm-hmm. So like you can't do that. You like I can imagine how many motherfuckers that's done went to jail for nothing. Oh, it's serious. And I ain't gonna, I, I, if, if we had a, a fucking, if you had my whole rap sheet right here, I would tell you, all right, this one, I did. i probably smack this nigga right here. But that one, I ain't do. Mm-hmm. This one right, I did. I did. I did. 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 <laughs> I ain't do that one. I ain't do that one, that one, that one. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. But like, it's hit and miss, now though. like, yeah, because bro, like, it's so fucked up, bro, how these people get to take a scenario and change it into whatever they want to change it to. Like, I'm gonna use a, uh, uh, example. They had a shit in Atlanta with the kid who just got shot and killed by the police officer. It was oh yeah, this kid right here is running around with da 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 da. When the fucking video come out of the fucking officer shooting this kid for no fucking reason, we ain't have that shit back then. We ain't have these iPhones. Everybody doing this right now. Mm-hmm. Hey, where you at? Shit. Uh, yeah, that's real. It's good so, and it's bad with that. It's good and it's bad. But at the end of the day, like, for us, I should say, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just talking about us as African Americans. Mm-hmm. It's a great thing. It is. On the right side. On the right, yeah, exactly. You get what I'm saying? Like, Aaron, you're going to get some, people going to do what the fuck they want to do in the, anyway. But what I'm saying is, like, this is what's saving us right now. That's right. As African Americans. You believe it if you don't. Niggas say, oh, I don't want an iPhone. Nigga, shut the fuck up and go get your iPhone. Because they can't use this motherfucker in court. Uh-uh. And you can record everything. And, like, bro, we've been getting prosecuted for nothing, bro. That brings up a good question, nothing. Pac-Man. Pac-Man, how, how uncomfortable is it in that courtroom for a black man? It's uncomfortable in the fucking body. No, Not just a black I mean, man. I, it, it, I don't know. It depends on how you go in there. I, I got good lawyers. You got good lawyers. So you cool in there? I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm with whatever. I, I, it was uncomfortable. What? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just, I'm being honest with you because, like, I'm standing on what I'm standing on. Like, I ain't no whole shit about me. I don't want fuck with nobody. If you want smoke, I'm going to give you smoke. But, like, I ain't out to be. No, I don't do that, bro. Like, I got kids, too. But my whole thing is, I'm going to be up in the morning. Yeah. Regardless if it's in a, in a motherfucking cell or at home. The only reason I asked that, I thought about you today, I looked and seen where that judge, they done postponed Young Thug's Thug. whole yeah. thing because of. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.